everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to the magical world of pyrography. New Year means party to a lot of people, so I have decided to have some fun with my arts and burn drinking Dougal Mackenzie from Outlander. My husband surprised me with a really decent m microphone for Christmas, so I truly hope that my voice over quality starts improving from this video on. First of all, I take my spear pen to define all important outlines and possibly do a bit of shading as well. This time my task is to depict emotions and motion. This picture just cannot turn out too stiff, otherwise it would be impossible to imagine that Dougal is about to hold his head up to get a substantial gulp from a bottle, so I have to pay attention to important details indicating this motion which is about to happen. On the frame from the TV show, which I am using as a reference, Dougal has his eyes shut and his whole face looks tense. I have to keep this tension on my pyrography as well. Wrinkles close to his eyes give this tension away. That's why I must shade them correctly. Before you start drawing any portrait, it is always very helpful to just take a good look at the reference you are using. 
This might be a photo or a drawing or even a person posing for you. Just study a face and try to break it down as much as you can. Notice which features make this particular face recognizable. With Dougal Mackenzie, it is quite easy because he has bald head, beard and moustache. so it has to have very bright highlights, which are characteristic of a glass surface. Those highlights would work only if I make everything around them dark. Linden plywood is also quite dark, so I will use a white marker to make the highlights even brighter.
very dark as well as most of the background. This way his face is going to stand out very well and attract attention of a viewer. High contrast is the best way to make any monochrome picture look bright. and the background take ages because I have to press harder and I also cannot burn one big patch at once, otherwise the final result would look too patchy and rough, so I have to burn small patches trying to make them as seamless as possible.
some final highlights with my Pete Artist Pen Brush. And here is my finished Dougal Mackenzie. I wanted to make this picture funny and I hope I succeeded. If you like my video, please support me with your likes, subscribe, click the bell button. This will really help my small channel grow. And I will see you next week in my new video. Send you a lot of inspiration. Bye!